Hello guys, welcome back to these for weeks practice again. My name is Dhanjay Mishra and today we will be looking at another problem of the day that is the problem of the day of Sunday. So before moving further, can you please acknowledge whether my voice is perfectly audible or not and whether my video and my screen is perfectly visible or not so that I can move further. Please acknowledge guys whether I am perfectly audible or not and my screen is visible. Okay, okay. Thank you Vamsi. Thank you Vamsi Krishna uh, for acknowledging that I am perfectly audible and everything is perfectly right. Perfectly at place. So yeah, so the problem of the day of today's uh, Sunday was that uh, we have to implement at AOI function, right? That means uh, we have a, in a C++ we have a function at AOI. At at OI function, right? So what this function does, we have to implement this function, right? So what this function does, it just takes input a string. Right, it just takes input a string, and <coughs> and this and it just normally returns us returns us the integer value, the, the corresponding integer value of it. Right, so this is in the form of a string, and it is in the integer, or I can say the long long format. Right, anything of it. Right, so <coughs> so uh, that's the task. That means that uh, we are given a string. Uh, let us now read the problem statement first, right? So our task is to implement the function at OI. So what does this function means? The function takes a string str as an argument and it converts it into an integer and returns it. Right. So let us now see that uh, <coughs> what, uh, how, or you know, what kind of input or argument in the string can be passed to us, right? So we will take a look at each and every test case. So initially we can we will be given a string str. It is it can be of uh, like the string can contain any digits or any characters anything right. <clears throat> so if it is consisting in the first sample test case it is consisting all the digits right. All the characters in this strings are digit. So that means the output should be equal to a number 123 right. <coughs> Similarly <coughs> in the in the sample case, case in, the, in the sample test case two right. <coughs> The string is equal to 21a that is 2 that is it is it is having three characters namely 2 1 and a in this case we have written minus 1 why because as you can see that a won't be corresponding to any digit that means this entire string cannot be converted into any integer right that's why we have written a minus 1 minus 1 in that case if it is not possible to form a uh, required integer out of that given string so we will see how we will solve it, right? So <coughs> it is a very you know sort of easy question. If you know <coughs> if you know the uh, concept of string iteration and you know string implementations and all. So what's the basic idea is is that suppose you are you are having a number one, two, three, four, right? Let us now suppose that you know these this is not any string. It is these are the separate numbers or separate digits given to us, right? These are some sort of digits given to us and you have to form a number out of it. The number form should be 1, 2, 3, 4. Right, you have, these are the, these are the separate digits. These are the separate digits that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and you have to form a number out of it that is 1234 should be formed out of it. Right, so how will you do it? Right, so the basic idea I will tell you that is, suppose you, you start iterating from this position. Okay, you start iterating from this position and you assume that this is the only number, this is the only number <coughs> or digit you are having, right? So that means it will be 1. Now, but you move in the second iteration, you face a 2, right? You face a 2. That means the assumption that you made at the first place that this was the only digit now is false. That means this digit, this 1, is now occurring at the 10th place, right? Because if we you know, <coughs> do some 1s, 10s, 100, 1000, right? 
thousand so on right this is how we form a number in the in the, you know our, our fundamental class in the first second and third pole right this is how we learn how to form a number so the similar concept is used here initially you assume that this is the only number in the ones place but now so that's why you only form the number one but since you move forward you moved forward you analyze or view and observe that no the assumption that you made at the first place that this is the only digit you are having is now false that means if i add a new digit to this number that is 2 that means that one would be now moved to the 10th place so say if it is moved to the 10th place that means you have to multiply this remaining part this part with a 10 because it is now moved one digit to the left that is to the 10th place right and you will add <coughs> the current the current pointer you are pointing at this one if i mark it as a current right so it, the number would be formed 12 similarly similarly now if you again move to this 3 your this 12 will be shifted one place to the left that means this entire 12 now will be shifted to one place left hence it will be in the 10th place so again you will multiply it with 10 and add a 3 to it so the number would become 123 similarly for 4 it would become 1 2 3 4 right so this was the case in case the these are the separate digits given to you but now the issue is that these the given string is not the you know the, the these are the characters right in the because it is a string so these are characters not digits or not integers right so first of all you have to convert you know or uh, convert them explicitly into a digits so how would you do that you would use the ascii values of of these characters right so the ascii value is that <coughs> So the ASCII value starts so uh, for the character 0 the ASCII value is 48 right and for the digit 9 the ASCII value is 57 perfect so you will be using this concept here so what will you do here is okay so what will you do here is suppose you are having a 1 perfect now <coughs> since it is a character it is a character you cannot perform operation like multiplying it with 10 first of all to perform these kind of operations you have to convert it into a digit or any integer so how will you do that we will now see okay so we are i hope the basic idea is now clear to you so if suppose you are having this string so you will take first of all one so how to convert this one into an integer one okay I will denote a character with this single quote and integer with this a simple one, right? So how to convert this character into a into an integer form? So what you will you do? Since you know that the ASCII value of 48 is the ASCII value of 0 is 48. Now what will you do? You will so the ASCII value of 1 will become 49, right? Because the ASCII value of 0 character is 48, 1 will become 49. Similarly, for 9, it will become 57. So, <clears throat> what will you do? Since everything you type in string or character automatically converts into a ASCII value, right? So, if you subtract from this one minus 48, so it will automatically convert this, the C++ compiler automatically converts it into 49 and 48. So, it will automatically become 1. So, this is how you use the ASCII values to convert a character into a into its corresponding digit, I can say, in this in this format, right? So, yeah, the idea is now clear. So one by one, since by doing this, you will fetch the corresponding digit of that particular character. Similarly, like for here one, you, are, you will get by subtracting 48, you will get one here. Similarly, for two, the ASCII value for two will be 50. So you will subtract 48, you will get a two here. Similarly, you will do for all of them. Now, this is the case when all the digits are there in the string, right? But now this might be the case when there is not a string or that is, that is not a valid uh, character in the form of a digit here. So you have to check explicitly that <coughs> while iterating the string, you have to check whether each character you are facing is lying in the range. That is if I am denoting my string with S. So if my S of I, that is each character is lying in the range 48 and and S of I should be less than equal 57, right? So what does it mean? It means that 48 is for zero character and 57 is for ninth character, right? So what I'm checking here that the digits that I'm facing or the characters in the string that I'm encountering here should be lying in this range. That means they should be from 0 to 9. Else if they if they are not, uh, you know, um, corresponding to these digits or they are not lying in this range, the characters you are currently pointing at in the string, 
is not lying in this range that means you have to return false or return minus 1 directly from that point because you cannot convert that particular character that is alphabetic character or any other symbol or character in the digits right so this is the concept <clears throat> so let us now move to the coding part right so because this is the only concept we will be using and let us now see uh, Okay, so let us now see uh, that what is the time complexity of this approach. So you can see that you are iterating the entire string. You are iterating the entire string only once, right? So the time complexity will be O of n. Okay, so the time complexity will become O of n, where n is equal to the size of string. Okay, so n is equal to the size of string, right? And space complexity is zero like O of 1, I can say. Why? Because you are not using any extra space or auxiliary space. Okay. <coughs> so let us now move to the coding part and see how we have done it. Right. So this is the guys, this is the entire working code. Right. So let us now see how we are working on it. So this we have declared first of all an integer answer. Right. Integer answer. Why? Because this will store, uh, this variable will be storing our final integer that we have converted. Right. <coughs> From this entire string. Now we have taken another integer i equal to 0 explicitly here. This is for iterating our current string. Okay. Now I will tell you why I have taken explicitly int i equal to 0 because mostly what we do we just uh, you know implicit like in, inside this for loop I just declare int i equal to 0 and so on. But we have done it in a different way here. I will tell you why. Okay. <coughs> so now we have declared integer flag equal to 0. This flag will be denoting whether the number I have to convert is to be converted into a negative number or not. Why? Because this might be a case, this might be a case that the string given to us is something like, you know, minus 1, 2, 3, 4. So in that case, you have to return the number as minus 1234. Okay. So this is, so this case you, you also have to handle. So for that, I have taken a flag variable. So I have checked, I, I have checked the first character that is str of 0 is equal to equal to this minus symbol right why because if any number is 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 you know trying to become a negative then that means only its first character it will be a minus one we don't care whether suppose if we are having a string this one we don't care about this in between the negative symbol we only care about this one so what will be the answer of this one this will return minus one right because this entire number this entire string won't give us a, a, us a logical number, right? So if it was not here, then it would be a negative number, hence, right? So this is the logic. <coughs> so that's why I'm checking here the first character of that string. And if it is equal to minus one, if, if it is equal to minus, that means the flag will be set to one, denoting that yeah, it, the, the final number that we will be storing into our answer will be a negative number. Why we are, I have set i equal to one? Because if I do the zero based indexing here, that is of this number, zero, one, two, and three. Okay, so if I do the zero base indexing here, I will just index. So, mm -hmm. wait a second, I have done it wrongly here. So, my this blue denotes the indexes, right, and my red denotes the string given to me, that is 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so as you can see here, that <coughs> the zeroth index. The zeroth index is denoting the minus symbol and the remaining one denot denoting the digits or the characters of the string. So that means if it is minus here, that means I have to iterate from this first index only. Right. So that's why I have done i equal to 1. So that's why I have taken i explicitly here, right? Not inside this loop. Now simply I will be iterating my entire string. And as I said that I will be checking that my each character should be in the range from for that is from the ASCII range of 48 to 57. Why? Because 48 is the ASCII character of 0 digit and 57 is the ASCII character of 9. And all the numbers that you form are always in the range 0 to 9, right? They are formed from all the digits like and like any number you take, it will be form of the digits from the range 0 to 9 only, right? So now this is the logic in which we discuss like this approach, right? How to convert, uh, how we converted this given digits into a perfect number. So that's what we did. <coughs> we first by doing str of i minus 48, we are converting the character into a corresponding digit, and then the entire logic is same. That is, answer is equal to answer into 10. That means we have shifted our current, in, like the assumed ones digit to the left. That means it is now become the 10th 
it is now at the 10th position and now we are adding the current digit to it okay now else part denotes that if the character i am currently facing or encountering is not in this range that means it is not in the range from 0 to 9 digit that means the number can't be formed out of it perfect so that's why i will let that little minus 1 from it because there is no point iterating further because the number won't be formed and as you can see that we have to return minus 1 in case any number is not formed so that's why i have directly written minus 1 from here now since after all this after this entire iteration of this string is done i will get my answer the final integer number in this answer variable okay now i have to return answer so there is two ta or there is two you know uh, two task i have to perform or i can say two cases i have to handle what if the number is negative so how do how do we denote it initially if the number is negative or not we we set the flag equal to 1 so if the flag is set equal to 1 that means the final number that we have to return is a negative one so that's why i have written if flag is set that means i have to return minus 1 into answer that means the the answer is now multiplied with the minus else i have written answer right so if i try to submit this it will get submitted okay so as you can see here <coughs> so yeah guys this was this was all about today's problem of the day i hope you know as you can see that it is a medium level problem but its accuracy is less than 32% like it is its accuracy is like about 32% why because you can see that there are many exceptions here right they, so the people forget about these exceptions and they don't know how to handle them and this is the concept of you know how to convert ascii characters into the corresponding digits and how to manipulate them all so that's what make this problem a uh, difficult one right so yeah guys that's all today about today's problem of the day if anyone has any doubt you can write down in the live chat right so i will answer it and then we can wind up this session Meanwhile, guys, uh, we have some unboxing series as well going on on Geeks for Geeks practice. Like we just performed the, yesterday the OYO uh, the OYO series, and and we have unboxed this portion, so you can check them also. Okay, and apart from that, we'll we are uh, we are as you know that we are as usual having problem of the day each and every day. Okay, from three to four. <coughs> So I hope that uh, everyone has understood this problem statement and logic and the solution completely. So yeah guys, until next problem of the day, stay tuned to GFG practice, stay safe, stay happy.